assassin's creatures. So, this is the topic of today's video. This is the Platemeris bigutatus, also called the two-spotted assassin bug or the white-eyed assassin bug. Those guys are venomous, so yeah, they inject venom with their saliva through a beak. They look a bit, a bit like Gonzo from the Muppets. This bite is painful as I have heard and above that they can spit some kind of acid or venom, something like that, which smells pretty badly and can hurt you if you get shot in the eye. Well, the guy who gave them to me, Antek, thank you very much. This is a really nice gift. I always wanted assassin bucks. He was unfortunate enough that he got a little bit of those spit in the eye and he told me this is not really a pleasure. I got two adult forms to Imago and above that he gave me a few small baby bugs. He told me that it is a good idea to keep them separate because there is a high chance of cannibalism among them. Those can breed parthenogenetic, so they only need a female and they can reproduce. This can be a fun experience. Can be a fun experience, but mustn't. We will see. So this is the enclosure that we will use today. We will make a nice enclosure for the adults with a cork background and some cork inside so that the bugs can hide in a lot of spots because they need that. So here we have the enclosure. I have a bit of cork background left. I will just use the enclosure as a guide here. Okay, let's see if any hot glue is needed. Sticks even without hot glue. Yeah. They probably don't need that much cocoa fiber, but still they need a bit of places to hide their eggs. I have some cork tubes here. Yeah, that, that's okay. Maybe lying here. Yeah, that should be all right. I have some cork chips. They need plenty of hiding spots. Okay, I found some jungle earth and leaf litter. Sphagnum moss. Break the colors up a bit. Let's get to the stars of the show. They weren't supposed to walk on glass. Interesting. <laughs> Got stuck. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful box. Beautiful. Yeah, sure, they cannot walk on glass. So let's get to the small assassin bugs. Here are just a few. They are not very big. I hope they can't run on plastic enclosures. So far they can't climb. 
that's that's a good sign. Really? Okay. <laughs> Some bad performance for me. Okay, well, I'll catch them in those small sling pots. Should be better. Got one. They look like small ticks. Small, small little ticks. So yeah, those are the assassin bugs. I am really happy that I finally got those. Antec, once again, thank you very much. You made me really happy. I'm a bit concerned about the fact that they can spit venom and you can get temporarily blind, but still amazing animals. So when it comes to my animal collection, one expected and one really unexpected bad thing happened in my animal collection. The first one, my Lassiotiano Sazi, my male, passed away from old age. And the second one, which really hurts, the mother of my Caribena Versicolor slings passed. I, I, I'm not sure why, maybe she was weak after giving birth. But still, this is quite some time since she gave the egg sac. Yeah. She passed, I will prepare her and her husband a final enclosure and they will stay with me forever because this is my first Caribena. I was very happy that I raised her into a adult female and that she, yeah, she gave me her offspring. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like what you want to see in future videos and as always thank you for watching Taranto Hala out